Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Susu. A traditional bajan dish made from cornmeal and okra, often served with flying fish stew. Susu is a traditional and beloved dish in Barbadian, bajan, cuisine. It's a unique and flavorful combination of cornmeal and okra, often served as a side dish alongside a main course like flying fish stew or fried fish. Susu has a distinct texture and taste, making it a staple in Barbados. Here's how to make this bajan classic. Ingredients. For the susu. 1 cup fine cornmeal. 1 cup water. 1 cup okra, finely chopped or grated. 2 cups hot chicken or vegetable broth. 1 medium onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 2 tablespoons butter or margarine. Salt and pepper, to taste. For the flying fish stew, optional, for serving with su su. 4 to 6 fresh or frozen flying fish fillets. Substitute with another fish if unavailable. 1 large onion, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 bell pepper, finely chopped. 1 cup diced tomatoes, canned or fresh. 1 cup water. 1 teaspoon thyme leaves, fresh or dried. 2 to 3 tablespoons bajan seasoning, or a mixture of herbs and spices like thyme, marjoram, and paprika. Salt and pepper, to taste. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. Instructions. Prepare the su su. In a mixing bowl, combine the fine cornmeal and water. Stir to create a smooth paste and set it aside. In a saucepan over medium heat, bring the chicken or vegetable broth to a simmer. Add the chopped okra to the simmering broth and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally, until the okra is soft and slightly slimy. This natural thickening agent helps give su su its unique texture. In another large saucepan, heat the butter or margarine over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and minced garlic and saute until they become soft and translucent. Gradually pour the cornmeal mixture into the saucepan with the sautéed onions, stirring constantly to prevent lumps from forming. Continue to cook and stir the cornmeal mixture over low to medium heat, adding the hot okra and broth mixture in portions. Keep stirring continuously to create a smooth and thick consistency. Cook the susu for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until it is well cooked, has a cohesive texture, and pulls away from the sides of the pot. Season the susu with salt and pepper to taste. Fish cakes. Deep fried balls or patties made from a mixture of salted codfish, flour, and seasonings. Fish cakes are a popular and savory snack in Barbados, often enjoyed as street food or a side dish with various meals. These delicious, fried cakes are made with a mixture of salted fish, typically salted cod or saltfish, flour, seasonings, and herbs. Here's how to make Barbadian fish cakes. Ingredients. 1 cup salted fish, salted cod or saltfish, soaked and desalted. 2 cups all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon baking powder. 1 half teaspoon salt, adjust to taste. 1 quarter teaspoon black pepper. 1 half teaspoon bajan seasoning, a blend of herbs and spices commonly used in Barbados. 1 half cup chopped onions. 1 quarter cup chopped bell peppers, red or green. 1 to 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 small scotch bonnet pepper, finely minced, adjust to your desired level of heat. 1 teaspoon fresh thyme leaves, or dried thyme. 1 quarter cup chopped fresh parsley or cilantro. 1 cup water, or more as needed. Vegetable oil, for frying. Instructions. Prepare the salted fish. Start by desalting the salted fish. Rinse it well under cold running water to remove excess salt. Place the rinsed salted fish in a bowl of cold water and let it soak for about 1 to 2 hours, changing the water every 30 minutes or so. This process helps reduce the saltiness. After desalting, drain the fish and shred it into small pieces. Set it aside. Prepare the batter. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, black pepper, and bajan seasoning. Add the chopped onions, bell peppers, minced garlic, minced scotch bonnet pepper, fresh thyme leaves, and chopped parsley or cilantro to the dry ingredients. Gradually add the water to the mixture while stirring continuously. The goal is to create a thick batter. You may need more or less water, so add it slowly until the batter reaches the desired consistency. Finally, fold in the shredded salted fish into the batter until well combined. Fry the fish cakes. In a deep skillet or frying pan, heat vegetable oil over medium-high heat. The oil should be hot enough for frying, around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. 
Drop spoonfuls of the fish cake batter into the hot oil, using a spoon or your hands. You can shape them into patties or balls, depending on your preference. Fry the fish cakes in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry each batch for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side or until they are golden brown and crispy. Bakes and fish. Fried bread rolls, bakes, served with fried fish, often accompanied by a spicy sauce. Bakes and fish is a popular and satisfying dish in Barbados, often enjoyed as a hearty breakfast or brunch. Bakes are fried bread rolls, similar to dumplings, and they are typically served alongside fried fish. Here's how to make bakes and fish the Barbadian way. Ingredients. For the bakes, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 2 teaspoons baking powder, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 tablespoon sugar, optional, 2 tablespoons butter or margarine, melted, 3 quarters cup water, approximately. For the fried fish, 4 to 6 fish fillets, common choices include flying fish or snapper. 1 cup all-purpose flour. Salt and pepper, to taste. Vegetable oil, for frying. Instructions. Prepare the bakes. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and sugar, if using. Gradually add the melted butter to the dry ingredients and mix until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Slowly add water to the mixture while stirring. Continue to mix until the dough comes together. You may need more or less water, so adjust as needed to achieve a soft but not sticky dough. Knead the dough on a floured surface for a few minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Divide the dough into small, round portions, about the size of a golf ball. You can make them larger or smaller depending on your preference. Flatten each portion of dough slightly to create a disc-like shape. Heat vegetable oil in a deep skillet or frying pan over medium-high heat. Carefully place the flattened dough portions into the hot oil and fry them until they are golden brown on both sides, about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Remove the fried bakes from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Prepare the fried fish. Season the fish fillets with salt and pepper. Coat each fillet with all-purpose flour, shaking off any excess. Heat vegetable oil in a separate skillet or frying pan over medium-high heat. Carefully place the fish fillets into the hot oil and fry them until they are golden brown and cooked through, about 3 to 4 minutes per side, depending on the thickness of the fillets. Remove the fried fish from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Cutters. A general term for sandwiches filled with various ingredients, including fish, ham, cheese, and more. In Barbados, cutters, or a type of sandwich or snack that's popular among locals and visitors alike. These sandwiches are typically made with fresh salt bread rolls, Barbadian bread rolls, which have a slightly salty and crusty exterior. The rolls are filled with various ingredients, creating a delightful and flavorful handheld meal. Here are some common types of cutters you might find in Barbados. Ham cutter. A simple sandwich featuring thinly sliced ham or pickled pork, often served with a slice of cheese and bajon pepper sauce. Fish cutter. Similar to a fish sandwich, this cutter is made with fried fish, such as flying fish or snapper, and typically includes lettuce, tomato, and bajon pepper sauce. Cheese cutter. A vegetarian option with slices of cheese, lettuce, tomato, and sometimes pickles or cucumbers. Sausage cutter. This cutter includes sliced sausages, onions, and mustard, creating a savory and hearty sandwich. Veggie cutter. A vegetarian version made with various fresh vegetables, such as lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and onion, often drizzled with dressing. Chicken cutter. Featuring tender and flavorful chicken, this cutter can be prepared in various styles, from grilled to fried. Breadfruit cutter. A unique Barbadian specialty, this cutter includes slices of breadfruit, often seasoned and fried for added flavor. Saltfish cutter. Made with salted codfish, saltfish, this cutter is usually seasoned with onions, tomatoes, and herbs. Conkey's cutter. An unusual twist on the traditional Barbadian sweet, Conkey's cutter combines sweet conkeys with savory ingredients for a delightful contrast of flavors. Sue Sue and Flying Fish Cutter. This cutter combines two bajan classics, coupling slices of Sue Sue, cornmeal and okra dish, with flying fish, often served with sauce. Barbadian cutters are not only delicious but also convenient for enjoying on the go. They are commonly available at local eateries, food stalls, and beachside shacks across the island, making them a popular choice for a quick and satisfying meal. Bajan Soup Bowl. 
a hearty soup with various ingredients like vegetables, meat, and dumplings, often served in a bread bowl. The bajan soup bowl refers to a traditional soup dish in Barbadian cuisine. This hearty and flavorful soup is often served in a bread bowl, making it both delicious and visually appealing. The ingredients used in bajan soup bowl can vary but it typically includes a combination of vegetables, meat or seafood, and sometimes dumplings. Here's a general recipe for bajan soup bowl. Ingredients. For the soup, 1 pound meat, chicken, beef, or pork, diced, or substitute with seafood like shrimp or fish. 1 onion, chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 bell pepper, chopped. 1 carrot, diced. 1 potato, diced. 1 cup corn kernels, fresh, frozen, or canned. 1 cup okra, sliced. 1 cup pumpkin or squash, diced. 1 cup green beans, chopped. 1 cup cabbage, shredded. 1 cup spinach or kale, chopped. 6 cups chicken or vegetable broth. 1 bay leaf. Salt and pepper to taste. Hot pepper sauce, optional, for extra heat. Fresh herbs for garnish, e.g., thyme, parsley. For the bread bowl, round bread loaves, 1 per serving. Butter for spreading, optional. Instructions. Prepare the bread bowl. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Slice off the top of each round bread loaf to create a lid. Set aside the lids. Hollow out the inside of each bread loaf to create a bread bowl, leaving a sturdy shell. Save the removed bread for dipping or croutons. Optionally, spread butter on the inside of the bread bowls and lids and toast them in the oven for a few minutes until they are lightly golden and crispy. Prepare the soup. In a large soup pot, heat some oil over medium heat. Add the diced meat and brown it on all sides. If using seafood, skip this step. Add the chopped onion and minced garlic to the pot and saute until they become soft and fragrant. Add the chopped bell pepper, carrot, potato, and any other root vegetables you are using. Saute for a few more minutes. Pour in the chicken or vegetable broth and add the bay leaf. Bring the mixture to a boil. Reduce the heat to a simmer and add the corn, okra, pumpkin or squash, green beans, and any other vegetables you are using. Simmer until the vegetables are tender and the meat, if using, is cooked through. Season the soup with salt, pepper, and hot pepper sauce, if desired. Adjust the seasoning to your taste. Remove the bay leaf and stir in the shredded cabbage and chopped spinach or kale. Allow the soup to simmer for a few more minutes until the greens are wilted.